This is an exercise for spasm of accommodation. Um, I'm going to give it a try. I'll post up the link so that you can see the original. Um, so what you do is you take uh, four, five, five letter squares, um, ra random letters, and you pin them up. So I'm going to use the fridge there. So. about say here here now they're a little bit closer than they they recommend they recommend one to two foot apart I'm going to make them closer because I know I'm going to need to stand a bit closer to them in the beginning so one there and I can adjust the height We'll see how this goes. Oops, come here. So that's what the fridge should look like. And I think I'm going to fasten those a bit better. So while that's up, uh, an, a spasm of accommodation, this is from Wikipedia, an accom accommodation or accommodative spasm or ciliary spasm, it's when the ciliary muscle of the eye remains in a cons constant state of contraction. So when you normally accommodate, that means it allows the eye to see um, at close, so near vision. But what can happen sometimes if the eye gets strained is that the eye kind of locks down and it stays in that position forever. So it it causes something called pseudomyopia, so it looks um, it looks a bit like short sightedness, but it's not. It's just because the muscle's gone into lockdown. Um, so the purpose of this exercise is to help with with the eye tracking, and I think it's to try and get get the eye muscle moving. So I'm going to try it and see if it helps. It looks pretty promising. So, and I'll probably bring the camera up a bit closer because it's not my, uh, it's not too bad actually, but it's not my nice new camera. So, so each square is something like that and I've ended up with some of the same letters next to each other which wasn't supposed to happen um, but what you do is you read the first letter on each sheet in turn then you read the next letter in turn, where's my finger, there it is, so, and you go along the line, and then you start the next line, first letter in turn, and along the line that way, down, and so on, uh, so you're finally reading the last letter at the bottom, in turn. Um, so it's supposed to help with uh, isocards, that's the movements, the little movements when you're tracking, when you're reading and it this looks quite good because you're kind of doing it in a, in a bit of an exaggerated way. Um, so this would look something like this and at this point I'm reading it off the camera, okay? Um, so it would be I U T T Q E I Z C J O M. Okay, so I'm about um, 
three, three foot away. Um, I know uh, that sounds, how am I not seeing it? That's because I've looked straight at the camera, so I do actually have an accommodative spasm, um, as well as the strabismus. Um, so I'm trying to work on that so I get more stable vision, hopefully. So you're supposed to start, I think, about, say, between six and ten foot, and those are supposed to be a bit further apart from each other. I'm I'm starting closer because um, I use I use my glasses. They're plus glasses. They're quite strong. Um, that is just more comfortable for me. And so, say you're about ten foot away. That would be roughly here. Um, and then you move back a bit, repeat it, and you just keep moving back a foot or two. Um, so, as I say, I'll give it a go. Um, it looks quite good, and I'll probably do a little report, maybe in a couple of weeks, and just see how it went.